If somebody clicks your ad and comes to your website and then comes back two days later and then calls, you're still gonna have the Google Click ID for that user because CallRail will make sure that user always sees the same tracking number when they come back, whether it's two, three, four, five times, and it'll show you the Google Click ID for the initial visit they came to the site, if you will. Now, there are some considerations here for double counting of conversions because if you have a cart purchase and that purchase went through fine and you actually upload it again using this offline conversion tracking method, you would have two conversions tracked for that same person, if you will. That said, you can make sure that the Google Click ID is gonna be what it is. If they went through the, through the cart and purchase and it was able to be tracked, it's gonna be tied to that same Google Click ID as it would be if you uploaded it manually through this offline conversion tracking process.